So this next technique is one of my favorite compression techniques and you can use this on a multitude of instruments and I particularly like to use it on drums with those fast hard hitting transient and it is parallel compression or New York compression. So in this instance I have a, I'm going to mute my auxiliary channel, so I've set an, up, uh, set an auxiliary channel up with a compressor on it and I've got this snare loop. Actually I just want the first two bars of it. Okay and I have bust this out to a parallel compressor and it sounds like this at the moment. Obviously that is just the stock FET compressor in Logic Pro with the settings that appear when you first set it up. What I want to do with this here is I want to set it so that I've got a fast attack and I've got a faster release. I absolutely want to kind of smash those transients and ultimately I'm just going to blend it in underneath the original track. So I turn off the auto gain again, turn off the auto release and I want a pretty high attack time to be honest. I'm going to go for 6 to 1 on this one as a setting and you can play around with this. And let's try that. And I'm going to bring the threshold down so I want quite a lot of compression happening here. And then my makeup gain to compensate for the gain reduction. bring in some more release. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the fader all the way down for the snare and then I'm going to slowly blend in the compressed signal with the dry signal. Okay, so hopefully you can hear the difference there. A lot punchier. So I'm just going to mute the compressed signal. And that's with the parallel compression. With, out. So without, and with. So now I'm going to blend that with my kick drum from earlier. So now I'm going to blend that with my kick drum from earlier. And there we go. Once again, that technique can be applied on a multitude of instruments, as I said at the beginning there. And uh, try it on kick drums. I think it sounds fantastic on kick. And you can also use it really well on vocals as well to try and add a bit of beef to, beef to a vocal. Um, that's probably not the technical term, but it's the one I'm going to use. So just in a nutshell with parallel compression, you've got the dry signal, and you've got the wet signal. The wet signal being the compressor, and you're going to gradually bring that into taste. So you want a fast attack and a fast release. You want to medium to high ratio I would say but play around with that do it to taste and the threshold I aim for between sort of minus five so not the threshold and the uh, the actual gain reduction between minus five and minus ten and obviously the makeup gain to compensate to bring it back to that that level that it was at before so there we go parallel compression give it a go